This is a super common occurrence with younger guys is they uh, you'll early sink, right? So you'll, you'll feel like this contraction in your drive leg. You'll feel like you're loading, which is, again, nothing in that is bad in and of itself. But now what, what will happen sometimes is we'll get to this, this kind of center point in our what I call the drive phase, right? And instead of, of snapping like your hips to rotate, right? So like at that point, that's when we want to initiate our hips to rotate. What we'll do is we'll actually get kind of stuck because we've we've sunk so early that then we'll actually try to generate power by elevating. And that's kind of something that happens right here with your hips, um, which again, super common, not like your biggest breakdown, but instead of thinking, you know, uh, like push, it's more of like rotate, right? Um, I, I kind of teach, you know, keeping, uh, keeping your, your hips here like neutral. And then at the center point, like we want to like snap that knee snaps, foot turns, rotates into the ground. Okay. And that's what creates that ability to segment and create hip shoulder separation. Okay. I know it's a little complicated, but this is a good visual, right? So like if you just watch Bueller's belt line throughout this whole move, I know it's a different camera angle, but see how it's continuously sinking and that knee shoots kind of down to the ground while the arm retracts and then the front foot comes down, boom. So this is this is where we like, I mean, obviously, right? Like perfect world scenario. This is what we would do um, in order to create like effortless velocity is the segmentation aspect of it. And what I mean by segmentation is lower body rotating, right? Hips rotating while the upper body remains neutral. So then when we do anchor down with that front foot, we create stretch, rotational energy, separation, whatever you want to call it. And then we can release and we launch from that position. Um, don't think that like, you know, you're, you're super far off. You're not. Uh, and you're 15, right? So a little bit of push here, early sink. And then by the time you come down, uh, to me, it looks like, you know, a little bit late to rotate. Um, usually that back foot position, that back foot uh, angle can give you a, a pretty good visual. But uh, for me, looking at this spot in the, in the delivery, right, like full anchor point of the front foot where, you know, the calf is, is contracting, the lead leg is taking on force. It's, it shows us a lot of different things, right? Pairing you, a 15-year-old, with a, a, a one of the better pitchers in the game, I don't expect you to look like that, but again, we're looking at like what is the goal, what does the goal actually look like from a visual representation, and where are we at? So I think we can do a lot better job um, from you know the, the hip rotation mechanics early on, right? Getting a little pushy, get a little elevated here. Um, and then coming down, obviously the main goal is to, to leverage our hand, leverage our arm, and get our, our arm more connected. So then as we do rotate our trunk and pull the arm through, we have that available. I call it like capturing that energy that we've, we've established what I referred to earlier with segmentation. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.